When I started on my fitness journey, it looked a little bit like this. Mondays we were pumped and ready, we were eating clean and working out, but as the week went on, I started to lose my discipline and willpower. So by the weekend hit, it was all or nothing. Going all out to eat what I could and not moving my body. Only to feel terrible by Sunday morning and feel like I had to restart every single thing by Monday. It was a wild roller coaster ride. And while it took me a while, I'm finally in this place where I feel comfortable, free, and I am able to sustain more habits than ever. Of course, we're not perfect. So in this video, I wanna share with you five things that you should know before you start your fitness journey. Whether you're a newbie or just getting back on track, these things are gonna set us up for success. So let's get into it. Number one, food is your friend. In fact, it is your best friend. Carbs provide us with energy, protein for satiety and muscles, fats to absorb nutrients, add flavor and protection, and fruits and veggies for fiber, which is satiety, blood sugar, blood pressure, and overall health. For so long, I saw food as the enemy. I obsessively tracked and worried and counted every single calorie or food that went into my mouth only to end up with anxiety and guilt. You won't have energy if you don't fuel, and it would be so much easier to continue with life working with food rather than against it. The truth is, if you want to have a successful fitness journey, you have to make peace with food. It takes time to build a healthy relationship with food and to start seeing it as something that will help us rather than hurt us. Now before we get to the next ones, don't forget to hit that subscribe. Number two, longevity is the goal. I know that it sounds so much more exciting on your fitness journey if you're like, I wanna lose weight for the gym, or I wanna look fit for my wedding, or anything that's close by. And while it is perfectly fine to have short-term goals, you do have to take a look on how it's gonna affect the longevity of your overall routine. Cause then we go all in on a specific goal, without taking home any habits that we can sustain. You're eating only salads, you're working out two times a day, then you burn out, and it's so much harder to get into a new routine. I myself have been caught up in so many quick fixes, but you have to remind yourself that it's not about getting to your goal as fast as you can, but it's setting yourself up for long-term habits so that even if you don't reach your goal, you are still working towards feeling your best. One of the biggest things that inspires me on my journey is that eight year old who is doing all of these like gymnastics things in the bars. Because if me at my age now cannot do that, well, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that when I'm 80. But I can work towards building that longevity so I can at least do the things that I love to do now until I'm older. And this is why it really helps to find something that you like to do so that you feel like you want to keep doing it. Like tennis. <laughs> my whole life is tennis. Now hold up and wait a minute as this portion of our video is sponsored by Dove. Everything we do in our fitness journey from working out to eating balanced meals is mostly because we wanna feel more confident and build trust in ourselves. How do we do that? Routines and goals. And what are my goals? To feel stronger, which means to enter in a muscle building program. To feel more energized, which means more and more and more intentional meals because sometimes I feel my energy dropping. And of course, to feel more connected with my body. I am a shy girl, which means I often keep my head down and my arms closed. I wanna be more confident when it comes to raising my arms and being myself. And that means looking for a deodorant that offers us more. Most deodorants tend to be hard harsh before it gives you what you want, leaving you with sensitive and dry skin. So I also look for deodorant with skincare ingredients, like Dove Radiant Care Deodorant Serum. This is the one that I've been using. It is the pink variant, which has 10 times more collagen for those nourished underarms. I have a cream one and a roll-on one, but I definitely prefer the roll-on one. Oh, and aside from collagen, it also has 3% niacinamide, which is Dove's highest concentration of niacinamide in a deodorant for radiant underarms. It also smells nice. So now we can enter our radiant girl era by building good habits and a healthy routine, even for our underarms. Get yours from Shopee, Lazada, and Watson's. Number three. Celebrate, not punish. Here's a reminder that your fitness journey is about celebrating things that your body can do rather than punishing it for things that it can't. If you can't run a mile yet, that's okay. You are able to run 0.99. If you can't have vegetables at every meal, let's celebrate that one. If you don't have an hour to work out every day, five minutes is not nothing. I think one of the biggest things that really held me back in my journey was the constant judgment that I would give myself. If it's really a health journey, 
If all it does is make you feel you're worse. She's so deep like that. When you focus on hating yourself and punishing yourself for things that you have no control over, it is not going to make things any better. You cannot control everything. Even if I try my best to, the only thing that I can do is work with what I have. Whatever small steps I take, that is something that I can celebrate rather than hate myself for. Another very important part of shifting from punishment to celebration is that you start to look for things that you enjoy. If you like lifting weights, you're gonna wanna do it to feel strong. If you like running, you're gonna wanna do it to get more distance. And if you like playing a sport, you're gonna wanna do it because it makes you feel good. But when you focus on movement as punishment, no movement is ever going to feel good for you. So please celebrate yourself today. Number four, focus on one thing at a time. As a perfectionist and somebody who wants to do everything right away, except for when it comes to organizing my room, that can wait. I understand the feeling of wanting to rush and get everything right and perfect instantly. But the reality is, that's not gonna happen. And if it does, it probably happens for a small percentage of the population. Because how are we supposed to eat balanced meals, work out, get enough sleep, get our steps in, hang out with our friends, and continue on with our career while managing our stress all at the same time when we were not able to do any of those things at first? We expect to go to bed at night and wake up with our lives completely changed. And while that would be amazing, it's just not real. So if it's to add more fiber into your meals or get 20 minutes of movement per day, or maybe to add an hour of sleep or to take five minutes for yourself for mindfulness, any step counts. Instead of trying to do them all at once, we could take it apart one piece at a time until it starts to build our routine. When I gave up trying so hard, that's when all of the pieces came together. And number five, take breaks. Consistency doesn't mean you do everything every single day. Consistency means that even if you have an off day, you can come back to your routine because it's not all or nothing, it's not extreme, and it's just another day. Breaks for recovery, growth, and to prevent burnout are part of the package. It shouldn't be something that you do only when you're completely burned out and have no more energy for anything. Actually, it could be something that we plan our schedule around instead. Instead of just looking for a day of rest, what if we make sure to plan a day of rest to make sure that it actually happens? And I'm gonna be honest, it is so hard for me to rest. When I take a break, I feel like my muscles are deteriorating and I'm starting to gain weight or that the food that I eat is wasted and it's a mindset to really challenge. That rest is actually one of the most important parts of your journey because it's gonna help you keep going. And the most important part of a fitness journey is to remind us that it is a journey and unfortunately a never ending one. Fitness is not just about reaching a goal, but being able to sustain your power and energy for as long as possible. Now, a lot of the things that I said here can be very helpful on our journey, but do remember that we are not perfect human beings. So remember to do a little bit of what you can every single day. These are honestly things that I wish my younger self had heard. I wish that somebody kept on repeating it and really ingraining it into my mind because I would probably have saved myself a lot of years of stress and anxiety around fitness, health, my relationship with food and my body, but that is in the past. I can, however, focus on the future or the right now. And right now, I am hungry. So thank you so much for watching this video and comment down below what is your favorite of the five things and how you're going to apply it into your life. As always, we are here to take care of ourselves through kindness. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so we can continue our journey together. Until the next video, you already know, you always deserve to eat. The video's over, but that doesn't mean you have to go. You can still subscribe or watch another video. Thanks for watching.